You know, it really bugs me to see these science fiction movies where human beings go through a stargate and then on the other side, they're still human beings. Ugh. It's just not like that. To go through the stargate, you have to be a light being. Anyway, that was my experience and my past life regression of my first experience on Earth. In fact, it's the reason why we're all stuck here. Because we can no longer go through the stargate. We are too dense. Oh, I've got so much to tell you about the stargate. And I'm going to do that after the break. It's Carol A.P. Chapman, author of The Golden Ones from Atlantis to a New World. Please do like, subscribe, and comment. See you in a few seconds. All right, more of my past life memories of the Stargate. I had come from Arcturus. I was a light being. Everyone in Arcturus was a light being. We were purely vibrational beings. We had to be because that was the only way we could traverse the universe. And we did go in starships as light beings. And when we came to this Earth to explore it, well, Actually, I was on a rescue mission because some of the people from Arcturus had become caught here. So, my mission was to search and explore. It was not to stop and have a good time. And that, unfortunately, is what I did. When I came here, I came through the Stargate, like I said, as a fully vibrational being from Arcturus, as was everyone from Arcturus. No problem going through the Stargate. And once I came here, I did feel the vibration of one of our fellow Arcturians. In fact, as a light being or a purely vibrational being, I experienced my whole world as vibration. I didn't see things. I didn't feel solid anything. Everything was constantly moving, shifting. There were different colors and beautiful, wonderful sounds. There is no good or bad. There is just constant movement. I lived in constant bliss. It was heavenly. I loved it. And I, so because I was this vibrational being and because I experienced the world or I explored the world by merging with it, it was natural that when I came to this earth, I would explore it by merging with it. That's normal and it's okay. And it feels sort of like being in love on earth because I was a blissful vibrational being. And I get enticed by this vibration that is so deep and so full and well, in no time, instead of exploring and searching, I am in the full experience of this vibration. And then when it was time to go back to the Stargate, it turned out I couldn't go through. I was so upset. I was crying. I, I saw myself as a wisp of smoke. I was really no denser than a thought. And I couldn't go back through the Stargate. And you know, the Stargate only opens for a short time or at various intervals. And I knew that they were waiting for me at the Starship and they waited as long as they could. And then before the Stargate closed, they left and I was left behind. And honestly, I was not like the animal I am now or the animal you are who's watching this. I was nothing more than a thought, but just think how a thought creates everything on earth. And just being what I call a wisp of smoke, I was too dense to go through that stargate. And you know what? I don't think I'm the only one. I think this is pretty much the problem for, well, all of us here in this world. I think that we are all light beings. 
In any case, I believe that that's where our feeling of yearning for home comes from. Our feeling of emptiness, our yearning for bliss and joy. And believe me, that is the experience of our real self, a light being. And I can attest from my memories that nobody goes through that stargate unless they are a purely vibrational light being. This is Carol A.P. Chapman, author of The Golden Ones, From Atlantis to a New World. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love to hear from you. Does this make sense to you? Do you think you have that feeling of yearning, of wanting to go home? Yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, see you in the next video.